Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to do a lab uh, showing how to configure 40 proxy explicit proxy uh, policy. So at the start, we're going to do an overview of the topology and the environment that we set up uh, 40 proxy at. We're going to show how to configure explicit proxy on the 40 proxy. I'm going to show you how the user would set up the pro browser to send traffic to the 40 proxy. And at last, we're going to do a scenario of user um, browsing to the internet and uh, using the uh, 40 proxy and you know showing that the user is uh, behind uh, 40 proxy all right so let's get started this is the topology that we're going to be working on we got the user sitting in the 10.0 network you got the 40 proxy sitting in zero network and 1.0 is the network facing the internet. This is my home network. This is where my home router is that's connected to the internet. I'm going to be using 1.0 network to also directly access the 40 proxy and the 40 gate. So these are acting as the management IP addresses as well. Now the traffic flow is going to be from the user browser. We're going to show how to uh, configure proxy on the user browser it's going to be flowing to the 40 gate there's going to be a policy on the 40 gate to allow traffic from 10.0 network to 0 0.0 network now traffic is going to reach to the 40 proxy it's going to be explicitly proxied back to the internet so there would be a policy allowing traffic from the 40 proxy to the internet now the question of what is 40 proxy explicit web proxy now you can use 40 proxy explicit web proxy to enable explicit proxying of ipv4 and ipv6 now what kind of um, traffic you can uh, do that to you can do for http https traffic and also 40 proxy has the ability to proxy ftp traffic and SOC as well now on the uh, browser itself how do we configure the browser to send the traffic for a proxy? We can either do that manually or we can do that using PAC, proxy auto configuration. In this lab, we're going to just do it manually. Now, before the session leaves the um, 40 proxy existing interface that is used to explicitly proxy the traffic, the source IP address is going to be change uh, of the session is going to be changed from the initial source IP address that the packet is going to be sent with to so the source IP address is going to be changed to the IP address of the uh, 40 proxy itself all right typically but now in this scenario also we have the 40 gate facing the internet so the 40 gate is gonna not that source IP address to IP address in 1.0 uh, network and then it's going to go to my home network, which is going to nod the traffic again before sending into the internet. So we're going to get started with the configuration. On the 40 proxy, uh, the IP address 1.57, like I mentioned, I'm going to use the 1.0 network to access the 40 proxy. The first thing we have to do is to set up explicit proxy on the interface. So 0 0.2 is going to be the interface used now by default the explicit web proxy is disabled so we'll need to enable that on the interface that we want to use explicit proxy on now to set up the explicit proxy pro, um, policy first we would view the explicit proxy profile this is a default profile that 40 proxy uses uh, and here you can enable disable status you could you have to choose the interface that would proxy the traffic in our case is 0 0.2 which is port 1 uh, if you want to restrict the source IP address or incoming IP address that would be uh, proxied we don't want to do that we'll just leave it to all zeros the HTTP port 8080 HTTPS is going to use the same HTTP port now FTP over HTTP we don't need to we're not going to be using this in the lab so we're going to disable it this is for configuring proxy auto configuration, but uh, in this lab, we're not going to be 
using it. Uh, this is uh, this is not there by default. I've added it. Okay, so go ahead and do okay. Now we're going to create the policy. So we go policy and object policy, create new. The type of the policy is going to be explicit. We're going to name it explicit proxy. The profile is the one that we edited earlier and is the default. Outgoing interface port 1. Source is going to be all. Same as destination. The service is going to be the default web proxy service which involves all the TCP ports. Now there's a caching option. We're not going to be using cache in this example but we can demonstrate it in another video. Uh, these are proxy options. Now you could also apply security profile to the traffic going through the 40 proxy. You could apply antivirus, web filter, uh, application control, uh, video filter, file filter, content analysis, but in our example we're not going to use any of the security profile and we're going to leave to uh, the SSH SSL inspection to no inspection as well. Uh, log option, Secu you would want to log only security events all, all, or all sessions. If you have a 40 analyzer, uh, it's rec uh, you can do all sessions. Um, if you're just Lo uh, storing the the log on uh, the memory or small size disk for example it's not recommended to, to use all session only if you're troubleshooting in my example I'm just gonna this is demonstration purpose so I'll do all session click OK so this is the setup on the 40 proxy what we're we gonna do now set up the browser on the user machine to send the traffic to the for the proxy so on Google Chrome if I want to send the traffic I'll have to go to settings and then go to general I believe or I think system open your computer proxy settings and I would use a proxy server I've entered this data earlier it's going to be 192.168.0.2 which is the 40 proxy interface and the port is 8080 as we specified in the proxy profile so I'll do save alright I did click save yep Browse to google.com Site can't be reached Unexpected closed connection Error connection closed okay, Let's double check the settings on the 40 proxy I think in order to proxy the traffic We would need to have certificate inspection on so at least certificate inspection even if we don't have any security profile applies okay let's come back to the google chrome oh now we can browse to google.com and this traffic should be going through the foia proxy um let's double check the logs And we can see traffic 44 seconds ago going to google.com. Now, if I want to sniff the traffic on the 40 gate, I can do that. So, just to verify the traffic flow. So, I'm going to do
And for some reason this console is taking time. Okay, I'm gonna do diagnose sniffer packet any So this is for the proxy IP address. Let's cancel that. So port four out. So port four in is the forty proxy coming into the Forty gate and port four out is the forty gate sending traffic to the forty proxy. Okay, we can also sniff the traffic based on the client IP address and the forty proxy IP address. Okay, forty gate here. Um, I'm not sure if I showed the forty gate, but forty gate here has policies to allow the traffic from LAN to proxy and proxy to internet and that is enabled all right so now we can browse to google.com using the 40 proxy uh, if you want to set up the proxy on the firefox you could go to the firefox i think i've already set that up here but i'm going to show you how we go to settings general and then network setting and then change to manual proxy configuration okay I'm gonna try to Google to go to google.com and here we go we can go to google.com all right so um, this com we've come to the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to this channel if you're looking for more videos like this. Have a good one.